Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. And it's time for another Dragon Ball Super Saga flash, but not flashback review. It's true. Uh, today we're going to be talking. Well, I'm, I always give people time to escape. Yeah. I give people time to escape just in case they wandered in here and they're like, "Wait, you're gonna you're gonna spoil this arc?" Yes. This is the Dragon Ball Super Saga four review. Four. 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 Five. Because you got like De, De Beerus, then the Frieza, then the Universe Six, and then this. Yeah. So this yeah, is four. Saga Four review. Um, now's your chance to escape. I assume that you've escaped. So this is Future Trunks. I actually wore I wore my Future Trunks shirt for this video. I um Is he your favorite character? Future Trunks has always been my favorite Dragon Ball character. Mm. And it's just because as a kid um watching Toonami and like experiencing Dragon Ball that way, you know, Dragon Ball Z, like going through the whole thing of them of 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 the Namek saga and the way they released episodes was awful because they do like some and then they'd start the series over and they just uh -huh. keep doing that and then and I'd been watching it and then finally we get to the point where Trunks shows up out of nowhere and just kills Frieza like immediately to me as a kid I was like that's the best character in the show that is the best character in the show because you've got everyone fighting for their lives on planet Namek and then Trunks shows up is like oh that guy yeah he's a bit of a nuisance but it's not a real problem Bang. <laughs> Bang. Um, anyway, so let's talk about the Future Trunks saga here because um, Future Trunks comes back. Mm hmm. And we actually. I was spend... not expecting that. I was. I was expecting it not because I knew, but because Future Trunks is such an integral part of Z. Mm. Not only for that part, but also like he shows up in other parts of the show, and I was like, yeah. certainly. You know, Toriyama. Toriyama likes this character. Toriyama's going to do something with him. So, um, I didn't expect we'd be spending this much time with Future Trunks, though, because yeah. this is the longest saga the, thus far by a lot. And um, me and Mao have opinions. <laughs> we have opinions about this yeah. saga, and I think what's funny is that we have almost identical opinions. Yeah, because. We got to a point and we were like, you know, and it was like, we had the same opinion, like right I, about at the Ma same Mal point. Mal started talking about the time I was about to speak. Anyway, let's, we'll get to that point. So let's start at the top. Start at the top, start fresh, start, start, start nice. Um, it opens up, there's, there's a new problem in the future, future trunks has got to come back. Cool. Nice to see him. I'm excited for him to interact with the characters again. Excited for him to interact with Beerus and Whis, who are my new favorite characters in the show. Yeah. They're fantastic. Um, so I'm excited to see all that. And when the saga starts, it's uh, it's really good. It is. I really, really like the first half of this saga because it feels like a mystery. It's yeah. like they have to figure this out. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, you know, Zamasu. Because first off, they don't know who Goku Black is. Yeah. Because they're like, who is this Goku Black? It looks Black? like Goku, but his energy reminds us of. So there's a few episodes where they're like doing exploration. They're like, oh, is it? We got to go talk to the Kais because this feels really uh, familiar. So there's this whole mystery thing going on. And I loved that. That was super cool. And we got to spend uh, time with these characters, Zamasu and Goasu. And then we get to watch them through the eyes of like Beerus and Whis and like trying to figure out like, hmm, what's going on? Is this what's happening? Whatever. So like that was super cool. I loved that. And then when Beerus steps in and, and like they 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 rewind time because he actually Zamasu actually kills Gosu. They rewind time and then Beerus kills him. That was really cool too because yeah. like it's a reminder that you know Beerus is all chummy with everybody, but like his role in the universe. <laughs> to a point, but yeah, yeah, his role in the universe is to to destroy and he can do whatever he wants. So that was like oh yeah, that's right. You can kill anyone you want. So that was neat. And then um, then we start this really weird back and forth yeah there are so many episodes where the team is like we're gonna go defeat goku black yeah. and then they go and they lose and they come back 
And sometimes it's in the span of like a single episode. Yeah. Like to the point of where I can't remember the exact order of events or how many times it happened. Yeah. It was like, we're going to defeat them. They get in the time machine, they go to the future, they get defeated, and then they run away. And and some again, at least once, that was in the span of one single episode. And I just kept thinking, like, so, like, don't go yet? Like, and then at some point, they learned... It's a time machine. You have unlimited time. At some point, they learned that Zamasu is invincible. Yeah. And I'm like, well, then stop. Like, figure it out. Like, why why we keep doing this? And, uh, you know, again, there's a lot of back and forth. I do like the fact that they put Yajirobe into the future. Yeah. Because I love Yajirobe, and he hasn't really had any, I think, almost any screen time. I think he was briefly seen with Corrin in the tower at some yeah. point. But otherwise hasn't been in Super. So that was nice. I liked the interaction between Trunks and Future Trunks and Mai and Future Mai. Yeah. Like that whole kind of thing and 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 I like in the beginning where Trunks doesn't know that's his future self. And I liked um Future Trunks interacting with past Bulma yeah. and also her like trying to figure out like, oh, I made all these instructions, I need to figure out how to build time. Yeah. Like all that was cool. And then they go to the future a lot, and they lose a lot. And there was a moment where I I felt like I needed to say something. And right before I did, Mal said something. And Mal was like, man, when is this going to be over? And that is exactly how I felt. And I believe... It was so good. And then it just started to drag. I believe that that we said that on, like, either the final episode or the... The, the next to final episode. Yeah. It was like right at the end, but it really felt like the saga was, I want to say it was one episode too long. It was multiple episodes too long. Yeah. It's I had just, been feeling that and I was like, huh, yeah, it, still? The, well, the thing the thing was, and, and I think one of the reasons that this suffers is that there are other like sagas throughout the Dragon Ball series where they're fighting, where it's, where it's nothing but fighting for a long period of time. That's not necessarily a problem. Yeah. But you have to vary it up with like the enemies and you have to vary it up with the environments or something. Like something has to change. Different characters fighting. And nothing changed. Like f- the, f- the destructed future, destructed? The destroyed, the destroyed future is one of the least interesting backdrops in Dragon Ball, which is saying a lot considering that half of Dragon Ball takes place in Weird mountain zone. There's just mountains everywhere. So like, it's not a very interesting backdrop. And then you've only got the same characters fighting, yeah. and it's only one villain. And it's and like two. Well, this it's this. Yeah, but it's the same guy, and then he <laughs> yeah, merges. It's yeah. like I, I don't know. There were things I liked. I liked seeing the team up, like because it was like the two of them fighting together against Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. And they did do like a little team fighting instead of no, it's my turn, but they also did the no, it's my turn thing. There's there's also a weird like quarter episode near the end where we see Vegito again, which I was like, oh neat. Some a lot of super feels like it's just nods to the yeah. series. A lot of it. Like uh, and we'll get to it in a minute, but like we saw Flying Nimbus again. Like yeah. these are all like tiny little like uh Dragon Ball. <laughs> That, that, like, so much of Super is that, which is fine because, like... I like, like that, but I'm just, like, ah, this saga just went two episodes too long. Three, maybe. Yeah, I I completely agree. I, I and, and it's a shame because I, I do like the character, and I loved the first half, and yeah. then I think everything fell apart, and I was like, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> here's the good news. The good news is, after it's over... Um, there is a huge handful of the fun filler. And I couldn't remember everything, so I actually have a list pulled up of, like, the episodes, so we could just, like, go through them, because Mount, I really like the fun filler, and, um, it was fun and good and memorable, so I just wanted to talk about, like, yeah. some of it. So, first there was the Wish episode, where they call Shenron, and nothing happens. <laughs> It was fun, though. It was fun, but, like, the, the whole thing nothing was... Nothing happened. But nothing happened. Uh, then was the Arale 
uh, episode, which was insane. Um, it was so tongue in cheek that it's really yeah. good for what it is. Like yeah. I've never read uh, or seen any of the Doctor Slump stuff. I'm sure if you have, like it was, it would be a really fun episode. But even like looking past that, it's fun because it's it's insane. It's fourth wall breaking. It's just Vegeta's really is like '80s gag manga. Yeah, like it's just it was fun. It was fun that they did that. Uh, then maybe my favorite episode of yeah. Dragon Ball Super so far. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Certainly my favorite filler, probably. Um, the baseball episode. There's a baseball episode because they haven't shown Yamcha at all. They showed him once flying to to the boat in season one, and that's it. Wasn't he at the tournament, though? Was he at the tournament in and the And then, crowd? like, he wasn't there, like, in the, the trip over, but then suddenly he's, he's there, there, and we were like, how did Yamcha... <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. He hasn't had enough screen time. Yamcha's great. <laughs> This episode was for for Yamcha. The entire episode w revolved around Yamcha because he was the leader of the baseball team, and they have this wild baseball uh, uh, game. Game, and then it all leads up to the acknowledgement within Dragon Ball of Yamcha laying in that crater. Like it's With his so hand on the home plate. it's so yeah. good. Like I. The, the, the all of the pieces of the puzzle that are necessary for that episode to have been created, like all of the meme culture online over yeah. the years, all of the jokes, so many culminations of things had to come together to make that possible. It's great. It's so great. I loved that. That was me and Mal were dying laughing. Um, th what was next? Then, there were two episodes of Hit. Yeah, Hit came back, which mm -hmm. was great. Yeah. Um, Hit was a fun character. Uh, I also I I liked the fact that Hit. I don't know, is like like an honorable person, if that makes any sense. I mean, he's an assassin, but like, yeah. there's a lot of, there hasn't been, Zamasu is actually, Zamasu is like the first new evil character in Dragon Ball. Because Beerus doesn't count. Yeah. Beerus is not evil. Beerus is just a person. Frieza's from, Frieza. the, uh, is Frieza. Yeah. So like Zamasu in the Universe 6 was just a tournament. So Zamasu is like the first evil person. Hit there's a lot of characters that get introduced and they're not they're not necessarily evil and I like that. Anyway, Hit's great. Hit is a scalpel in a field of baseball bats. Yeah. Just like the way he fights and stuff, it was neat. Yeah, I like that. And I, I like that they that it's not always who can scream the loudest. Yeah. Because a lot of times that is Dragon Ball is who can scream the loudest. He reminded me more of almost a Trigon character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then you find out that Goku took it out on himself. Uh, <laughs> which I called which so Mal early. Called, <laughs> Mal called. I thought that maybe... Um, we did it. We Cerberus did it for mm -hmm. training. And Mal's like, I think Goku did it. And Goku did it. So Mal got that right. Uh, then there was the great Saiyan Man movie, which was, which was wild, but they're, they're never gonna let go of the Saiyan Man thing. Yeah. Because again, Dragon Ball Super is, hey, 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 Dragon Ball, which again is, is fine. Um, the, oh, there was two episodes of, of great yeah. Saiyan Man. That's right. And then the final two episodes of this saga, uh, were very fun. It was Goku and Krillin. Training training together, going to see Master Roshi, and uh, <laughs> Android 18 calling Krillin a wimp, and then his daughter being Marin like, Marin going, you're a wimp, I daddy. Don't a wimp daddy. I don't want a wimp, I daddy. I want a strong daddy. It's a really weird, anyway, it was fun to see Goku and Krillin um, interact again, yeah. and it was fun to see Flying Nimbus. And they, the all best part, I think, was when Flying Nimbus showed up and Goku sang the ending song. Yep. That was my favorite there part. There was a little, like, little Easter egg there. So, all, all, all in all, it was all good filler, Yeah, honestly. Like, that sort of stuff is fun, and um, it's weird because there's only, like, 10 episodes of it or so, like, of the filler at the end, and it was enough to make me f mostly forget everything that happened in the future Trunk Saga. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, e it's fine. It's fine. But, um, yeah, that's, that's our take. I feel like it could have been a much better, more memorable saga if it was just missing a few episodes. Yeah. Agreed. I really do. 
less of the back and forth into the future stuff. Yeah. And cut out a few episodes, and it would have been way tighter and way better. Uh, that's that's my take. But the first half was really good. It was. And all the filler at the end was really good. <laughs> and uh, now we get ready to enter into the last saga. Which is saying something, because there's still like over 50 episodes of the show left. So yeah. um, we're not going to be back for a while, because we'll be watching it. Um, we might, maybe we'll do like a review in the middle or something, but uh, there's no guarantee. It might be until we're done with Dragon Ball Super. Uh, as always, you can discuss uh, everything up to episode 76 of Dragon Ball Super. You can also discuss Z or Dragon Ball. And, um, you know, we'll we'll be back. I don't know how long it'll take us, but we'll be back. I'm looking forward to finishing off the show. And, like, I say finishing off the show, but... They've announced they're doing more. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be doing more. So, there'll be more to watch in the, in the future. But for now, this will be, like, the last saga. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs> <laughs>